Kalimera, everyone. Today I'm in the neighborhood of Kolonaki in Athens. So this is going to be a neighborhood tour like I have done for so many of the other neighborhoods here in Athens. And I will link those in the description box so that after this you can go watch those. I know Kolonaki really well because this is where I lived when I first moved to Athens. It's sort of an upscale neighborhood, um, so things are a little bit more expensive here, but there's some really unique things to do in this neighborhood. Now, this isn't unique to Kolonaki, but I like this Laiki, which is the street market. It happens in Kolonaki every Friday, and it happens on Xenokratos Street, which is actually my old street, which was a pleasant surprise when I first moved here. So if you haven't seen a video of mine with a Laiki in it, it's basically like a farmer's market. So fresh fruits and vegetables, and some of them have clothing and like household things. This one is very small compared to a lot of the ones around Athens, but it's nice if you wanna just come and have like a brief like experiences to see what it's like, cause it's not very big. Here's some of the clothing, but you can also sometimes get like fresh flowers and plants. Um, and usually the prices down in the light key are better than like at the supermarket, uh, particularly for the fruits and vegetables. So it's a good spot to come um, to save some money. I'm now gonna take you down this little path and show you two things that I think are like super hidden gems here in Athens. So one thing is the Cine Dexameni, which is an outdoor summer cinema, which is over the other hidden gem, which you can't actually see because it looks like they're doing some work on it. It is the original um, reservoir for Athens that Emperor Hadrian built. So, but as you can hear behind me, this is like a square of activity. There's also a little restaurant here that's super popular with the locals. There's actually a third hidden gem and you just have to walk over to those stairs to see it, so I'll show you. So if you come and it happens to be closed, which hopefully it won't be for very long, they're probably just doing some maintenance on it, but there is a sign that gives you some information about it and you can see part of it on the other side. It's actually behind the restaurant. So if you walk back up the stairs and go behind the restaurant, you can see the other part. But let me show you this other thing I was telling you about. And this is it. If you walk over here to the stairs, you get a very clear view of the Parthenon. And I like to think of the fact that before modern Athens was built, that you could stand up here on the reservoir and see all the way down, probably to the sea. Because if you can see the Parthenon so clearly, then you can see all the way down to the sea, probably. There are a few hotels in this neighborhood. This is probably the most well-known. It's the St. George, and it is a five-star hotel, so it's super luxe. But if you're not staying here, you can go up to the rooftop. There's a restaurant and a like cafe bar, and it has amazing views of the city and of the Acropolis, of course. You may have noticed that all of Kolonaki is sort of up a hill, and that's because well, the whole thing is a hill, basically. Some of it is flat, but it's all on Likipetos Hill, which is up that way, which I would normally climb, but because I haven't been super well, I'm not gonna do that today. You may be able to see a flag and a little steeple up there. Um, that is the top of the hill. There's a church up there. So it is one of the best places to see the sunset from because it's so high up. And actually walking up the hill is a really great hike. There is also a telefric, so if you just want to take a taxi up there and then not hike all the way up, you can. Uh, if I was feeling better, I would definitely do it because I haven't done it in a long time and it's nice weather out. This kind of gives you an idea of the hill. So this is going down towards the main road that takes you to Sigtagma. And then here's the stairs going up. And if you keep going up and up, you'll hit the road that goes around the base of the hill and then eventually you'll find the stairs to the Telefric. Um, and then if you just keep going, eventually you'll hit the hill and you'll just hike up. This is sort of the main shopping street here in Kolonaki and it runs kind of the length of this area. Uh, there's a great bookstore right here. And yes, they do have books in English. 
Um, you can find anything from sort of mid-range to upscale things here. And if you keep walking towards Sigtagma, you will run into Kolonaki Square. And that's where I'm gonna take you now. If you've been to Athens or if you've watched any of my videos from when I lived over here, you'll remember this was a really nice square and you may be wondering what the heck is happening. So they're building a new line for the metro and this is going to be one of the stops right here in the middle of the square. So it doesn't look great right now, but in 10 years, <laughs> it'll be back to normal, hopefully. They say eight, I say 10. As you can see, right behind me are all these restaurants and this is the place to hang out in Kolonaki. De Capo is like one of the famous spots to have coffee and be seen. And at night, if you walk down this street, this sort of turns into like a nightlife hangout and all these young people come and there are bars all up and down this street as well. So. Uh, it's a hive of activity though, as you can see, and it's a Friday. It's not the weekend and this is how busy it is. I have crossed the street out of Kolonaki to show you this building. This is the Banaki Museum of Greek Culture. And since we have learned that I cannot film inside the museums here, uh, I'm not going to go inside, but I highly recommend it. It's not very big, but it's a beautiful museum and they have a great rooftop bar, um, coffee, lunch, everything. And it's been renovated. It's really nice. And now I'm going to get out of the traffic. I'm going to walk slightly back up the hill into the square because I can give you a really clear view of the top of the hill and give you an idea of the scale of it. But if you are a hiker, like even if you're like a sort of not serious hiker, it's a really great hike. Um, take water though if you're gonna go during the day because there isn't a lot of shade once you get out of the forest area. Um, but there is a chance that you could see wild tortoises up there. Okay, so now you can kind of see the top of the hill. Um, there are also some restaurants up there. Um, I would say the food isn't great, <laughs> but if you want to sit and have a drink uh, before sunset or after sunset, it's a good spot for that. Um, down this street is another amazing museum. It's the Museum of Hecladic Art. Um, so if you're familiar and you like those little white statues that you see for sale in tourist shops, you can go see the real thing. Um, beautiful museum, also very small, but definitely worth it. There are also some really great buildings here in Kolonaki. These are the old traditional houses that didn't get torn down over here. There's another one next to me on the left, but someone is standing outside, so I don't want to film them. Um, I think these belong to two shipping companies now, so they're not homes anymore, but they're still amazing. I wish you could go inside and see them. I think it is now time to have a little bit of lunch here in Kolonaki. It's one o'clock, so a little early for Greek people, but just the right time for me. And I am going to, I think, go eat at this place called Oneo or Orneo. I can't remember, um, but I've eaten there before and it's amazing. And it's been in Kolonaki for a long time. Uh, there is a restaurant across the street called Burbilo that's also really good. I'm standing here like debating which one I want to go to, but I think I'm on this side of the street, so we'll go to this one. So there's Burbilo, and then here's the other one. This place opened like right during COVID. And the day that we were allowed to finally go out to eat again, I came and ate there and I had like the most amazing slow cooked pork that I think I've ever had. I remember completely wrong. This is the name of it. So, yo. <laughs> I struggle with these vowels. Anyway, I just want to show you the menu though. It's extensive and it's all like super traditional Greek food. And from what I remember, it's amazing. And I'm having a hard time deciding what I'm gonna have. So I am sitting outside because it is still really warm out. But if you come here, what I love about this place is the inside is super charming. It's decorated in sort of this country style. It's really nice. So if you come here in the winter, it's a good option because the indoor seating is nice. And they also have an upstairs. So they won't probably run out of seating. I have gone for a traditional moussaka 
because the thing I wanted they had were not ready with yet, which is kind of typical because, like I said, one o'clock is pretty early for a Greek lunch. If I'd come at two, it probably would have been ready. All right, here's my moussaka, which smells amazing. And by the way, all the smells coming out of the restaurant smell fabulous. Like I keep getting wafts of cinnamon coming in from behind me and I can't think of a better thing to happen to you in a restaurant. One of the other things in Kolonaki is the public hospital Evangelos Mos, which is also the name of the metro. So um, I don't really know how it works here. Um, there are certain days that certain hospitals are in charge of emergency, but I think that's only at night. But if you're here and you need it, I would check with your hotel. But this is one of them, and it's probably the best one in the city that's the public hospital. In addition to the hill, there are a couple of green areas in Kolonaki. There's this little park in front of the hospital. I don't know the name of it though, but the metro station is down there. And then if you keep walking further up this road, which I'm not gonna walk up there because I just don't have the stamina yet, um, there's a really nice park and the it's near the metro station Megaro Musiki, and I think technically that's still technically part of Kolonaki. I believe it is called Eleftherius Park, which in English is freedom. And one of my favorite things here in Athens is the Running Man statue. That's not its official name, <laughs> uh, but that's what most of us call it here. It's completely made of glass. It used to be located in Ammonia Square, and when they built the metro there, they decided that he didn't, they didn't think that he would survive the metro being installed and the metro running by. So they moved him here. Ironically now though, the metro runs right here <laughs> and he seems to be doing fine. And just in the last couple of weeks, they cleaned him. But I'm gonna show you a few more things before I go home. There are two more museums over here that I want to mention. One is the War Museum, which you see in front of me in this very modern building. And then right behind it is the Museum of Byzantine Art, which I have a video on, and I will link that down in the description box. And it's excellent, and it's much bigger than it looks like from the outside. And also there is a garden surrounding it that is worth walking through. The one thing that I want you to be aware of in all neighborhoods is that sometimes they're just random archeological things fenced off or walled off for you to see. There's no sign, so I don't know exactly what it is, but it looks like a wall or an aqueduct. I see some piping and these look like uh, graves. There is an entire sign in English explaining what they found outside and what's here in the metro as well. So here's some of it, it's amazing. If you liked this neighborhood tour, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.